In this video, we are going to talk about a total motion release technique that you can utilize to help your baby roll both directions equally. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Baker, a pediatric physical therapist, and on this channel, we help proactive parents learn how to help their babies move better. Think of me as your pediatric physical therapy bestie, here to help you learn tips and tricks to help your babies move with confidence and ease. In today's video, we are gonna go through a lower trunk side bend total motion release which is a lot of fancy words for a way to help babies move smoother from back to belly and belly to back. When babies are learning to roll, it's really important, and I would argue absolutely essential, to have them roll from their back to their belly, both over the right arm as well as over their left arm. If a baby shows a preference, typically it's going to be in the same direction of the upper trunk. So if a baby is going from their belly to their back and it is easier for them to go into right rotation, they are going to keep their left elbow on the ground and then they're gonna rotate over their left arm and that's gonna be the equivalent of right rotation. And then if they're on their back, they're gonna use their left arm to reach and go in that same direction. If you notice that with your baby, typically there is gonna be some tightness either in their lower trunk, upper trunk, or both. It could be in the direction of rotation or side bend. And so in this video, we are gonna go through a treatment technique for the lower trunk in the side bend direction. This is typically involved if a baby gets kind of stuck on their side and they're not able to really side bend against gravity in order to then finish that rotation component. And they just kind of look like they are just kind of stuck in that side bend and it's they're not able to fight gravity and get to that next phase onto their belly. So again, total motion release is a type of a mobility exercise that is the exact opposite as traditional stretching. With traditional stretching, you are working on elongating the tissue and with total motion release, you are working on increasing range of motion by shortening the tissue to allow it to relax in order to gain mobility. With traditional stretching, you're doing both sides. With total motion release, you are only doing the tight side or the easy side. So in this video, the treatment that I'm doing on this kiddo is going to be right-sided tightness. They are struggling going over their right arm into back to belly over that right arm. So the right arm is going to be on the ground and then they're struggling rotating over it. Now, they are not quite perfect with rotating the and rolling the other way segmentally they struggle with isolating that rotation and doing it in a more fluid advanced motion but the biggest struggle with this kiddo at this moment is releasing the right side of tightness so that they can then activate the left side against gravity and finish that motion if a kiddo struggles with the opposite direction and they have tightness on the left side, you would essentially do the exact same thing except for hold the left side instead of the right side. Again, with total motion release, you're only going to do one side. You're gonna hold that for two to five minutes, follow it up with 30 seconds to a minute of bouncing or another vestibular type of exercise, and then you are going to work on the skill that the child is struggling with, such as, in this case, rolling from back to belly and belly to back. Clip, you could see that the baby was able to roll from her back over her left side. And I'm gonna kind of bring her back. I engaged her visual system. 
and I'm gonna try to get her to touch the toy and become engaged with it more so than her little feet sees. And then I'm gonna try different toys. I'm gonna put them in her mouth to see if that is more engaging for her. I'm gonna see if she will then roll on her own. You can see here that she's actually having a little bit of a hard time side bending that right trunk in order to come over. So it's not a super smooth transition. Now you can see that she will roll from her back to her right side, but then as she's trying to kind of come up, she's having a hard time side bending that left upper trunk to be able to fully go all the way over onto her belly. You can see here, she's trying, she's trying, she's trying, she's trying, she's trying, and then she finally gets over there, but she's really has to kind of use her arms and it's not as smooth as the other direction. Now the other direction isn't perfect. The other direction, we're still working on increasing the fluidity of it and increasing the baby's ability to uh, do it in more of a segmental pattern. She's still a little bit on the log roll side where she's moving her trunk as one versus rotating her trunk. Now we're gonna go into the assessment of whether or not one side of her trunk is tighter. Obviously she had a harder time side bending to the left upper trunk. So my suspicion is that she has a tightness in her right side, which is gonna make side bending that opposite side more difficult. So right now I'm giving her some things to stay happy with and I'm going to use a C shape with my hands. You can see that right there. I'm gonna hook under my hands or on her bottom on her pelvis and I'm gonna tilt it up. Now there is another video on how to fully assess this. So this is gonna be pretty quick, but I tilt her pelvis up so her back is flat against the ground and her knees and hips are kind of coming up to her body. I'm going to the left there and you can see that she kicks me out a little bit and I'm going only to the level of her resistance. I'm not gonna go past that level of resistance. And then I'm going to go to the right. And oh my gosh, you can see how much further she just is smooth as glass going to the right. And so the right side is the tighter side because as I elongate that right side, it pulls on the tight musculature. And so I'm not able to do that opposite movement. You can see me there kind of playing with her toes, keeping her engaged. Sometimes babies don't love to be on their back. And so you have to make sure that they are occupied so that you can try this. If you have a toddler, it's even harder to do this exercise um, to test these directions. So the treatment here that I'm going to do is called total motion release. And basically the purpose is that it goes to the direction of ease for this babe. It is to hold the right side and the right trunk and side bend, lower trunk side bend. You'll get a little bit of upper trunk involvement there as well. I'm gonna hold it for two to five minutes. If a baby kicks me out, I'm going to let them. I never hold against their resistance, but I do try to keep them engaged. If they um, are fighting it a little bit, I try to kind of give them some vestibular break breaks, maybe give them some bounces, try it again, revisit it, try a different toy, try to get someone in the family to be engaged, play with their toes, anything to keep them okay, sing songs in that position. So again, I'm gonna hold this for two to five minutes. She kicked me out there a little bit, so I'm gonna to try to go back. And again, I'm only going to the level of the resistance. I'm not going past that, and I am just holding that position. If you are not being seen by a physical therapist, this is where I would pause that. I would encourage anyone who notices that their baby has any tightness to reach out to a pediatric physical therapist, especially one that is additionally trained in total motion release. It is an incredible way to help babies move better. And those therapists can do more advanced treatments with 
total motion release. This is really a beginner level positional release that most of my families are safe in completing. But again, please check the link in the description to find a TMR trained physical therapist near you or occupational therapist. They can be trained as well. So again, we are just holding that position. You can see this babe is being an ideal model right now. She is being incredible. Not all babies will be this calm. So if your baby is not this calm, that is totally fine. Some babies honestly only tolerate 15 seconds and that's where you have to start. You go to their tolerance and after time, you can begin to build up that amount. Some babies are able to go all this all the way that this baby can go and some babies are pretty tight equally and one side is just slightly easier but it's still a very limited range of motion now with total motion release you're only going to hold the easy side and then you're going to follow it up with 30 seconds to a minute of a vestibular activity such as bouncing or superman kind of airplane motions any type of linear motion to help increase the body's awareness of the new motion that they have and then after that you're going to practice a skill so for this babe directly after this she kind of kicks me out we're going to do 30 seconds of bouncing and then we are going to work on a skill and right now you can see i'm kind of testing just to see has it improved in range of motion it does look like it has i'm not going to do the opposite side or hold it right now i'm literally just testing the motion has it improved or not this is going to be a example of ways that you can give the kiddo vestibular input again it is just going to be 30 seconds to a minute you can see here that i am just holding her facing outward and my hand is underneath her bottom and around her chest and i'm giving her just up and down bounces this is just going to help the body understand the new motion that it has regulate everything and really just cement it in so that you do not lose the gains that you have just created for the babe you can do it in the standing position and you can also do it in like a horsey position where you're sitting on the ground and you can also do this seated off the edge of a couch and you can see here that i'm just trying to give her kind of some side to side motion as well is up and down so here we're gonna actually start to see her rolling and see whether that rolling has improved I'm going to steal that toy away from her she's gonna be so mad at me and then I'm going to try to get that left arm to reach diagonally and you can see that that side bend now that left side bend of that upper trunk was so much smoother than earlier that's because that right side of her body is no longer blocking that left side bend motion and you can even see her trying to move she's trying to scoot all the places she's moving her body we're gonna try that again i'm gonna roll her back onto her back because i'm so shocked i'm really excited to see her do it again this is again that third step i know she's so mad at me she's tired we worked on stuff uh, so hard so far, but I really want to work on the skills that we need to work on in order for her to lock this new motion in. It's okay to, again to pick your baby up, give them some love. You can't see her right now. Try a different binky, try a different toy, and then revisit the motion. I'm gonna try to get her to reach in a diagonal so you can see that I am trying to get her visual system. And honestly, at this point, I will let her go. If she wants to go to the harder side, if that's where she's more engaged with, then we'll go. And you can see too, she's reaching better and she was able to do that on the first try where previously it took her three to four tries and she needed some help there. You can see her too. She's 
able to disassociate that upper trunk from that lower trunk and roll back on her own with so much more flexibility. I'm gonna do that one last time just so you guys can see just how much more motivated she is. Look at how much she's reaching and she is more engaged. She does still need a little bit of tactile cues. You can see me giving her some cueing to really side bend that left side, but it is still so much smoother and she is just so much happier to be able to move well. And that's a wrap friends. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to learn about baby movement with me and ways that you can safely help your babies move better. I'm on a mission to help educate parents on ways that they can be proactive in helping their babies move better. And I love that you are a part of that movement with me. If you have any questions, make sure that you check the pinned comment because there's gonna be a link there where you can get more information on how to schedule an online parent consultation with me where we can answer all of your questions on rolling, total motion release, and other strategies that you can utilize to help your babies roll in both directions equally and get ready for some of those other milestones such as sitting independently and crawling. Now, if you are a little bit more curious on how to test each side, maybe this video was totally mind blowing for you and you would just love a little bit more information on total motion release and how to test that lower trunk side bend, make sure that you check this video out where I go through on actually the same baby, how to test side to side, what to look for, how to place your hands and all the techniques that I utilize to test this direction in my kiddos.